what's up guys he King here back again bringing you a video on some latest uh, Resident Evil news in today's news today's discussion video will be about Resident Evil 9 or Resident Evil Apocalypse as it's starting to become known as so yeah there was some stuff on 4chan about was this this was last this was uh, late last month and yeah I've, I've i've heard this leak before this isn't the first time i've heard this 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 was a leak that came out sometime late last year as well and people were like this is this is a leak for resident evil 9 and it's very similar to what i read before um i don't know if this is just a post up reposting the same info we already had or if this is actually legit in which case it means the stuff that we read or heard about resident evil 9 last year could actually be true and uh this game is at a stage where Stuff like this can come out and people will be like, yeah, this is legit. But, uh, you know, let's read for it. Let's read for it first and decide for ourselves whether it's legit or not. Remember to like and subscribe, guys. And, yeah, let's do this. Uh, it's a very short list, but we'll go for it one bit, you know, one by one. So, working title, Resident Evil Apocalypse. Yes, uh, for those of you who don't know, there was a Capcom leak, uh, uh, I think back in 2020, and it did list Resident Evil Apocalypse as being in production. So, and the assumption is this is Resident Evil 9, and it was supposed to come out for... Uh, I believe originally for a 20, 20, yeah, for a 2023 release. So 2021 was supposed to be Resident Evil Outrage. 2020, uh, 2022 was supposed to be RE4 Remake. Uh, 2023 was supposed to be Apocalypse. And 2024 was supposed to be Hunk. Now, we got nothing on Outrage. And apparently it might be even be Outbreak. Don't know. But we got nothing on that game. It's it's disappeared. We haven't heard anything. We haven't heard, like, apparently it was supposed to be a multiplayer starring Wesker. Or it was a, a, a Revelations 3 starring Rebecca. We know nothing about it except it was supposed to be a Nintendo Switch exclusive for a year. But there's been no news on it. It's just disappeared. It, very likely it's been cancelled. Resident Evil 2, 3, uh, 4 Remake is now coming out in early 23. So it could be a case of, yeah, they... And that's because the game also got rebooted. Remember that. So maybe it was originally going to come out in 2022. But that's not happening anymore. Uh, instead, we're getting uh, Resident Evil 8 Gold Edition. So this year. Um, and then obviously Apocalypse was planned for a 2023 release. So that makes me wonder if this game is actually going to be coming out in 2024 maybe. Uh, but then there's the Hank game as well, but that apparently was cancelled too. So, and, uh, but uh, that means that means if Resident Evil Apocalypse is coming out in 2024, the, that means we're going to be we'll, we'll probably be getting something about that game sometime next year. It has to be next year, like uh, maybe even a late reveal for an early release, or maybe it'll be a late release in 2024. We'll have to wait and see. But yeah, moving on. Uh, setting Ghost Town in the West, where a certain investigation will take place. A certain investigation. Ooh, uh, caves, river, small town, and camping sites. I just played the quarry as well now, so um, it's it's giving me those kind of vibes just from reading this. Enemies will look like some kind of deformed creatures with huge emphasis on body horror. Uh, they'll resemble mythological creatures with horns, and locals will call them Wendigo or Goatmen. So yeah, this isn't. Yeah, I've read exactly this. I remember reading this. There was like an RE9 leak, and it said yeah, the enemies will resemble like a goat enemies or wendigo if you will so yeah this already i'm getting like the quarry slash until dawn wipes just from reading this i'm wondering if someone played both of those games now and it's like yeah yeah, yeah this is what it's about yeah like because we already had werewolves in that do you know what i mean so it's a bit weird they're gonna try and go for that kind of theme again but i guess a wendigo is different from a werewolf isn't it um you know because cabin cannibalism <laughs> uh enemies will be mim mimicking human voices and could even transform into friendly npc they can perfectly mimic human voices and the player will be forced to look at the behavior to know their enemies. So this already sounds like something similar to The Thing. Uh, there was there was a game, uh, a sequel to The Thing, uh, done in a video game form, released on the PS2. I never played it, uh, but there was this whole kind of me uh, me mecha gameplay mechanic where you had a squad and you had to sort of determine which of them was The Thing or not. Then you use these tests and you find out. Um... This would be very insane if they did, but this feels like a feature that I just don't see happening. If you guys remember, Resident Evil 5, for example, was supposed to have this hallucination heat feature where, you know, where Chris, if, he's, if Chris is too much in the sunlight, he's going to start hallucinating and he needs to drink water to, like, dehydrate and get his perspective back in control. But they never did anything with it. They didn't go anywhere with it. And this feels like a similar thing. This feels like a feature they're trying to do. It's like, oh, yeah, we're going to make these NPC characters and you have to guess who's friendly or not. And it's like, yeah, I don't see that happening. I would like to see it, but I just... I don't see them doing it. And, and, and is this going to be a thing that's scripted, non-scripted? How does it work? Um, monsters can get close to player appearing as friendly NPC. If that person died and player didn't see it. So already this, uh, this sounds this sounds like freaking Among Us now. Like, do you know what I mean? It's like everyone like, you're, you're just going to be playing this. It's going to be like, you're sus. No, you're sus. Where were you? Like, 
I don't know. I, f- I feel like I feel like this is just someone who, or maybe this is Capcom trying to cash in on the uh, Among Us crowd, and there's going to be some sort of multiplayer related to this. I can see them doing that because uh, they they look at anything that's popular and it's like we gotta copy that. So this could be actually legit. I could see Capcom definitely doing something like that just to just to appeal to that crowd. Uh, forest is creepy and unsettling. It's easy to get lost without a map. Sometimes you'll hear that somebody walk behind you, but the creature isn't there when you turn around, and sometimes it's there for real. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's that's creepy. I can see if they can pull that off, that'll be fascinating. Uh, player can force some doors to open, lock them, barricade, and use uh, melee breakable weapons. Okay, uh, one of the early bosses is Bug Heist. It's a giant black dog with a twist, but less uh, intelligent compared to other monsters. A black blood dog with a twist. What kind of twist? Uh, Bug Heist. Bug Heist. You know what? Let me look that up. Maybe there's a bark heist maybe there's an actual theme for this let's see let's see how well this guy's done his research right oh no this is legit uh, a legit a black it's a british it's it's it's, it's a british folklore bark heist also spelled a bar guest or bar is in folklore of northern england especially yorkshire monstrous goblin dog with huge teeth and claws that appears only at night interesting so maybe this isn't bs like the guy clearly did his research like huh huh well done well done uh, Nico, you, you did you did some research there, I guess. Um, one of the main uh, antagonists will be a woman named uh, uh, Glastic. See, I don't really like that. Like, I was really hoping, like, if this is legit, I don't want it to be. Like, I want Resident Evil 9 to, to wrap up that connections storyline with Dr. Bailey or whatever his name is and that. Like, I want him to wrap that up. Like, it's getting, it's getting, it's getting annoying now. Like, uh... Gustic is a so yeah this is another folklore if you will the Gustic uh, is a ghost from Scottish mythology a type of fuda it is also known as Mika Garden UN and may appear as a woman of beauty or monstrous mane as a half woman half go- uh, goat similar to a fawn or satire in the shape of a goat right so like Phil from Hercules um okay by the locals this woman we named Gustic by the locals she has a really beautiful design with a green gold ornament and morning green ga- gown what, what is it we're making all the main villains so far in these Resident Evil games from 7 to onwards female uh, uh not judging not saying anything I'm just saying like if you're gonna do it please develop them more um the player will receive help from a woman a bioweapon named Hulda or is this meant to be like a, another form of Hilda uh, Hulda. Hulda is a seductive forest creature found in Scandinavian folklore. Her name derives from a root meaning covered or secret. So yeah, this this seems to be very inspired by European folklore, if you will. She'll serve as a guide through the forest, tell you some of the town's history when you show her some treasure, keys, puzzle pieces you may find along the way. Okay. She will. She also will teach the player different herb com, uh, combinations. Uh, there will be seven uh, herb types which can be combined with each other to uh what is it to archive various effects the monstrous the monsters fear this woman just as they fear and respect Dustig and won't come close this serves as an explanation why they can't enter safe zone rooms plot will be okay so uh, if this is a legit i kind of see like some sort of twist happening where you realize that our girl stick isn't the bad guy but it's actually holder maybe i don't know because I mean, for Christ's sake, her name derives from a root meaning covered or secret. Like, clearly she has her secrets, right? So, twist, 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 twist. Uh, the seven uh, herb thing, yeah, no, yeah, I don't really care about that. Uh, the plot will be about the ninth moon phase, and the nickname Apocalypse came from that, I- from that idea. The moon serves as this game's symbol and properly appear on a logo. All right, guys, so you know for 100% for a fact, if this is legit, if a Resident Evil Apocalypse gets announced and we see some sort of shape similar to the moon, we know that this is real. But uh, for now, the whole concept of the moon being the theme, um, okay, fine. I was expecting something better, maybe, since, you know, you're calling it Apocalypse, but fine, I guess. Uh, having it themed around the moon, I mean... Uh, what was the theme for the other ones? There wasn't really a theme for the other ones, was it? Like, so, yeah, I guess. But it doesn't list what the, ret- what the returning characters are. I'm still crossing my fingers that we see some returning characters. I do not want to see Chris. Like, obviously, Chris- at this point, we know Chris is alive. Like, in Resident Evil 8's epilogue, we know he's alive. Uh, so we know he's never going to die at this point. He's got, like, a good 16, 18 years, whatever, to live, right? Um... But I want to see other characters. I want to see what uh, Jill's been up to. For Christ's sake, like what's been Jill, what's Joel been doing? Like uh, I-, I want to be able to play as Claire again. 
Uh, I want to see Leon in game. Like, obviously, we're getting Leon and Ori for a remake, so I doubt he'll be in, in Resident Evil 9, unless they swap actors, which I don't see them doing. So I don't think Leon would be... Because the actor would be busy doing a Resident Evil 4 remake. Um, so since he's busy doing that, and Capcom loves... It seems Capcom loves renewing certain actors for different characters. Like, they use Carlos for Chris. Um, maybe they'll go to Jill, right? They'll go to Jill's actor and they'll get her back and Claire's actor. So maybe the next game will be Chris, Jill, and, and Claire. Which I would, you know, like, hallelujah, yes, please. Please do that. Like, I would love to see those three together in a game. I would like I would like to see Chris and Claire together again. Because we have, we've only had them in one game, like... Like, come on, show me more of that brother sister relationship, right? And and give me Jill back. Like, what's going on? Like, you'd think you'd think Capcom would be going in with all the whole uh, female empowerment crap, right? But like, not like Resident Evil needs it. Resident Evil's always had powerful female characters, but it's just kind of weird that you have these specific female characters that the fans love to bits, and you don't use them. Like, like I get that certain plots uh, ask for certain things, but like. Come on now, like it's getting ridiculous at this point. You I mean you can do so much with with Jill, for example, trying to get uh, you know dealing with the post traumatic stress stuff from Resident Evil Five, for, like for crying out loud, like do something with that for crying for Christ's sake. Um, but yeah, like that's what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping to see those characters again. Like, yeah. Oh, overall, this this sounds fine. It sounds fine, but you know, take it or leave it. Right? Again, I'm gonna take this with a grain of salt, but uh. It's interesting to read, nevertheless. Okay, guys. Yeah, as I was saying, our video's about to wrap up. And yeah. Um, yeah, overall, I found this information. It's decent. It's decent. But I've, I've read I've read most of this stuff before. The gold, the Windigo stuff, I believe. Uh, the moon stuff might have been mentioned in that first leak I read. And obviously, the NPCs being either friendly or bad. The rest, though, with the, the enemy names, the character names, does is new, I think. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very curious. I'm very curious when this game will get announced. I mean, like I said, in the in the in the leak in the leak list that came out, it was originally planned for a 23 release. Rem if they are if they have been working on this, like properly during Ori 8's development, and it's at a point where it is ready to come out, maybe like we'll we'll find out about this next year. Like it'll, I'll be very curious. And it, I do predict a 25 release though. That's my my main thing. But it could also come out late 24 so that's very very likely but if it doesn't come out in 24 my question is this what's what re game would be taking that spot because it seems capcom is all about trying to release an re game every year now so were we finally going to get something on outrage maybe i don't know but uh, we'll have to wait and see anyway guys like i said hope you like this and as always remember to like and subscribe share please uh press the notification button etc etc please do that for me thank you if you love me or if you like me or you enjoy me yeah no i just did that because i i just thought it'd be fun and creepy thing to do sorry about that um christ look at that like my you can't see but my cat's on the floor right now loki's on the floor and he's he's like half asleep like yeah it's, it's boiling here man it's boiling here god knows like God knows what you guys in, in the other parts of the world are going through if, if it's as bad as here it is, man. It's probably worse there, like, like, oh, God, I can't take this heat. I need winter. I actually need winter back and fast. Anyway, guys, uh, take care and bye, and I shall see you when I shall see you. Take care and bye. See, I'm screwing up here. Bye, guys. Bye.